Most people stop sprinting unnaturally soon and sit unnaturally much, but by reversing those common deviations, people have seen results for the lower back, hips, and knees. Number one, ATG split squat, easiest to start with the chair, very easy to progress with the stairwell. I think all gyms should have mobility boxes for measurement and user friendliness. I'll take sets and reps right out of the current program, full ATG protocol that I'm doing. Four sets per side, 10 to 12 reps per side. Very simple, once a week. My goal in this video is that you think of this as a scale. So let's just look at how much flexibility it takes here and then notice how I could actually assist myself to get into this position. And now let's look at the exact same thing. Now I've got my back foot elevated and I'm loaded here. So I'm, I'm loading into this stretch position. In a single nutshell, I think this is the simplest example I could show of how I transformed my body over the last 10 years. Not necessarily in terms of uh, tremendous change of how I look, but how I function. And this provides strength and flexibility, but at the same time, that's my definition of mobility. Have whatever definition works for you. For me, this really works for me is the idea, okay, there's some amount of load from assistance, unassistance to loaded, and there's some amount of flexibility. So, all right, this would be even easier. This is actually about where I started. Funny enough, this is about where my mom started at age 64, she'll be 70 in April. This has been the most effective exercise for her. And now I've worked it down to where flat ground is easy. And so I even, this is like how I do my workouts currently. And I've actually been shooting my YouTube videos completely cold lately. Like just try to dive right in while my mind is fresh and not have anything warmed up in the body. So you can just kind of see it as accurately as possible. So as I'm lowering down, I'm thinking to stretch my hip flexors. And let's pull up an anatomy image of those hip flexors. So I'm thinking to stretch them, but notice I'm not limping them. So I'm trying to keep them strong and stretched as I'm going through full range of motion in the front. <coughs> so yes, it's just not the fanciest demonstration, but I wanted it to be clear as a concept that you have a mobility exercise to try and train strength and flexibility in harmony. I do think that's the most powerful weapon for longevity of the body. It's what has allowed me to go from not dunking to dunking easily and able to do the splits and no knee setbacks in 10 years. If you're new here, just going backward is what got me off painkillers for the knees. This is then what kept me off. In each case, we're just trying to balance the body through exercise. So this is not stuff I do in addition to normal exercise. This is my exercise. This is how I train. This is it. Once a month I play basketball. That's it. There's no other practice for it. Once a month I set up a game with my friends. I do the workouts. I use this thing to keep cardio in. Hello, Lucky. So there's step one. You could do this right now with the chair. You could do it with the stairwell to make progress. Uh, even from a CrossFit gym, bumper plates can give you some measurement. Now let's transition and let's look at that anatomy image of the hip flexors. And now let's look at the rectus femoris. So, and I'll start from roughly where I started on this one. I'm stretching this side here, but I'm doing this actively. So when I'm in this position, I'm actually trying to squeeze the back butt muscle. So that would, rather than just being like here, by trying to squeeze it, I'm really stretching here, but with the leg bent now, you're gonna feel more of a stretch into the rectus femoris. So squeezing, and as I go back, I'm using this foot right here. I'm thinking to push down. That's causing this muscle, rectus femoris. It straightens the thigh. Rectus straight femoris of the femur, that thigh bone. So I'm squeezing the glute. I'm doing those two, two things. Squeezing the glute, pushing with my foot. So I'm like, I'm strong. Like I'm like thinking, even though it's a static thing, I'm thinking to be strong. I'm active in this position. So you'll feel it more through that rectus femoris. And so you got the hip flexors. Those attach into the lower spine. Some people even consider the rectus femoris one of the hip flexors. Again, I don't really spend time. There's some of these things that people debate on it. That's not my game. I need functional data that works. 
that's it. So I just want to understand what these things generally do, not so much argue the, you know, I've had people try to debate different points. That's totally fine. Like my definition of mobility, that works for me. It gets the job done to think of strength and flexibility as mobility. So hip flexors attach into that lower spine. We'd have to think the average person is just too tight in those hip flexors from all the sitting and too weak from lack of sprinting. And then, but those connect down to this rectus morris. That connects the hip to the knee. So also, for example, like I was told this left knee would fully bend. Oh my gosh, if you saw the amount of messages I get every day, I have XYZ medical condition. And look, I get it. You're hoping I can just say, yep, this fixes that medical condition. This is not medical. I can never answer what can fix that medical condition. Have people sent thousands of medical success stories. Does my knee that was not supposed to ever fully bend again have world-class bend? It does. It's ability. You never work through pain. You find your ability you can do without pain. What happens? I've been working on this. This is not just something for fun that I saw to make a video. I've been working on this every week for over 10 years. Our potential is completely different than mainstream will tell you, but I can never answer what condition you have and what it could solve. So step one, ATG split squat. Step two, active couch stretch with those two intense one to two sets. 60 seconds, that I do twice a week. Full ATG protocol is two different leg days. I outlined all the exercises, all those exercise categories two weeks ago. So I break those up Monday, Thursday, and I do a little stretch protocol at the end of the more like strength exercises. Really, you'd call most of them like stretch strength, but that video goes over all those details. So this I do twice a week. This I just do once a week. Now, step three. This one strengthens that whole chain I just described, and it's incredibly scalable. So I start here, I straighten my legs, and I work on, on holding it for 20 seconds. You could even, like, as I like to be on these bars, because even here, okay, you can be holding at your level, but this one is so easy to start, you don't even need bars to start. You could start right on the ground. It's kind of a good test, like, can you hold your body off the ground? If not, probably, it's probably underdeveloped. I had the slowest 40 yard dash on my high school team, ridiculed for it. So if I was the slowest guy on my sports team, okay, at least I was playing sports, but the slowest player on the team at age 16. Uh, if I can do this, then we probably, you know, probably should be a, a human ability we all have. But check this out, put your butt up, now try one leg at a time. So just work for that 20 seconds, hold. You can even try here. The farther you lean forward, tougher it is, the more you lean back. So just about anyone could start working on this right now. But I said that third because I don't really think you want to start strengthening it without getting the flexibility in it too. But yeah, I also want it to be strong. That one, two sets, 20 seconds, once a week. Because exercise four in the other leg session, turn this here so you can see it. Exercise four, there's a variety of these devices. This was the first one I ever used. I'm used to it, monkey foot. Everything else here I make and sell. With this one, I now have measurement. So you could start with no weight, one pound, two pound. Everything in here is built just as much for grandparents as young people. Okay, it's awesome to be able to increase your performance and win a game. We have ATGers right now on each side of the Super Bowl. Anyways, separate subject. <laughs> Someone's gonna win, I don't care. I much more care about as we age that we're still in the game of life. For me, I, I don't care who wins the Super Bowl, but do you think there's actually a dollar amount that someone could pay me to give up the fact that I can dunk a basketball? There's no, I mean, there's no way. There's nothing material. It's actually my best business advice in life. Find something that's more valuable to you than money. Everything gets easy from there. You can't be bought. So, at least not fully, at least not like someone who's, who the money is more valuable to them than what they do. Here we go. Very simple. Now my intention, I'm trying to contract that back glute because I could not really, this wouldn't be as measurable if I was kind of cheating with the back leg. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to extend this. I'm thinking to squeeze this hip flexor and squeeze the back glute and then boom. Now we got measurement. We can go to failure. So everything in this was measurable to some degree. This one, two sets, 15 to 20 reps. So when I say that, I mean like, all right, if 20 is not like smoking you, add some load. But if you're not getting 15, decrease. 
sets and reps aren't magic. My obsession is the movements. My obsession is balancing the body through exercises. In fact, if anything with the sets and reps, I'm just trying to stay moderate because it works. So I just don't want to like do anything wild with it. That's my conclusion after all these years. Woo. Smoke and burn. There you have a four part protocol. And again, right now at home, you could start with the chair doing the ATG split squat. You could start with the L-sit, get some the thickest thing you got, make it super comfortable on the couch stretch. There's three things right there. So I pride myself that I always have on the app my zero programs where you need literally nothing, but then I can't escape it all these years. I'm obsessed with this stuff. I've tried to spend so many years trying to see how minimal I can get it, but I like all the different tools and, and the well-roundedness works better for me. So that's full ATG protocol. To conclude, let me make sure I didn't miss anything for you. Just trying to get the data across. Yep. Yep. Good. We got it. And now you have the tools to reverse these common problems. This is not the only way the best way, it's not a comparison. This is just the most efficient way I've found to get the results that I wanted for me and those doing my programs. And on that note, thank you to everyone who has done my programs. It's actually taken me years to realize, had all kinds of interesting opportunities. And if you saw the list of celebrities that I've declined to train recently, someone out there would wanna slap me right now. But all that stuff deviated me from what my job actually is. My job is being here in the yard, obsessing on the data and then putting out everything that's in my head out there, then make it as cheap as I can for those who wanna like fully do my programming and services. I gotta eat somehow and now also obsessing over, okay, well, now how do we make the equipment user-friendly for it? Because now it's like, man, I see, I feel bad for the average person who wants to go do ATG at a commercial gym. My hat is off too, you are tough. You have to have people looking at you weird, make, rigging up different equipment. So this is the long game now is to make it convenient for you. you have things like mobility boxes. So you don't have to go get a bunch of different stuff to do an ATG split squat. So got it done. I'll be in bet. I'll be back in touch next week. Nice to have my companion with me. Normally he wants to sleep on the Nordic bench. I don't know what I did to deserve this good company. All right, see you next week.